All right, so uh, today uh, the lab we're doing is another density lab. It is the density of a liquid, all right? Now, uh, you should already know that the formula for density is density is mass divided by volume. Again, mass is how much matter there is, volume is how big it is, how much space it occupies. And um, you're probably wondering why the different density lab, we just did a density lab. Well, um, the reason being is uh, today with the density of a liquid, um, how you go about finding the mass and how you go about finding the volume, you have to jump through a whole different set of hoops um, because you can't do it the same way that we did the other one. All right. Now, um, for a liquid, all right, we're going to be finding the densities of three different liquids. And um, for a liquid, all right, uh, to find the mass of a liquid, all right, I can't just take the liquid and pour it on the balance. All right, it's going to run all over the place. So I need to have an empty container. I need to be a container to hold the liquid. And if I put the container on the balance pan with the liquid in it, all right, then what's going to happen is I'm going to get the mass of the container and the liquid. So what I need to do is I need to isolate what the, um, what the uh, uh, mass of the container is so when I figure out what the mass of the container and the liquid is, I can subtract those two and just figure out what the uh, volume or what the mass of the liquid itself is, all right? Now I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone on this first one here. So the first liquid here, I'm gonna do everything for you. So I just need to copy what I write down here. And then the next two liquids, I'll do the measurements for you, but you're gonna have to do the calculations on your own, all right? All right, so um, the first uh, liquid that we're going to find the um, density of is horse urine, all right? I just collected this horse urine. Uh, I, I almost lost my life in the process. Hooves were flying by my head. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually just salt water. Salt water, they put some food coloring in. Um, so anyways, we're going to find the density of the salt water. Now, uh, the thing about density is that... Um, with the density, it doesn't really matter how much of the sample I'm going to use. I could use the whole sample or I could use part of the sample. And I should get the same value for density. All right. All right so first off, um, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to measure the volume with the graduated cylinder and um, I'm going to find the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. So I put my graduated cylinder on, my balance. And I find the, uh, the mass of the graduated cylinder is 41.9 grams. So this will be A, A salt water. So the mass empty container is 41.9 grams. All right. Next, mass container with the liquid. All right, so I'm going to take some of this liquid and pour it in here. Now, it doesn't really matter how much I put in here. I should get the same value for density. However, that being said... Uh, it doesn't start measuring to 10 grams, and there's no graduations above 100. So I want to use a number from 10 to 100. Uh, probably more is better than less. So maybe I want to fill it up to about there or so. But it doesn't really matter too much. All right. So I filled it up right about there. All right. So I look at it, I read it, and that is about 80 milliliters, or excuse me, 80 grams. All right, so, I'm sorry, that's the, that's the volume of the liquid is about 80 uh, milliliters right there. We'll come back to that in a minute. All right, um, so now I need the mass of the container with the liquid in it, all right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this on the balance like that. 
And now I can find the mass of the two together. And I got uh, 134.2. One hundred thirty-four point two grams. All right. So this is the mass of the empty container. Here's the mass container with the liquid. So if I want to just find out the mass of the liquid, I'm going to take the mass of the container with the liquid minus the mass of the empty container. That'll give me just what the liquid is. So I pull out my handy dandy calculator. One thirty-four point two minus 41.9 equals, so I get a mass of 92.3 grams, all right? Now, uh, the volume of the liquid, all right? And again, the volume of the liquid, I can get just by looking at the side here, and it says about 80 milliliters. And I go, wait a minute, oh no, that says milliliters, this says cubic centimeters. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Uh, well, actually, a milliliter and a cubic centimeter are the exact the same. Pretty much milliliters are used for liquids and cubic centimeters are typically more for solids, but the amount of space they are is the exact same, so they're pretty much interchangeable. So something that's 80 milliliters is also 80 cubic centimeters. All right, so the volume's 80 cubic centimeters. I got a mass of 92.3. So now to find the density of the liquid, I do the mass divided by the volume. So the mass, 92.3, divided by the volume, which is 80, equals, and I'm gonna write that down here. Uh, for the densities, I want you to do them to the hundredth, to the hundredth, all right. So I get 1.15 grams per cubic centimeter. So that is the density of the salt water. All right, so that's how you go about doing the calculation. All right, now for these other ones, the second uh, material that we're gonna find the density of is vegetable oil. All right, second one is vegetable oil. I'll just write it. Veg oil. All right, now, um, I'm gonna use a different container to measure that. Um, I'm gonna use one of these small flasks uh, for that. Okay. Um, so, mass empty container, I'm gonna find what the mass of the flask is. All right, so I put the flask on there. All right, so the mass of the flask is 27.1, 27.1 grams. All right, mass of empty container, 27.1. All right, now, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna pour some of the vegetable oil in there. Very careful with this. This is messy. All right. So now I'm going to take my little flask of vegetable oil and I'm going to put that on the balance. Find the mass of it now.
All right, so now I got 49.2, 49.2. Right, so mass container with liquid, mass of empty container. Now, for you to calculate the mass of the liquid, what you're gonna to have to do is take that number minus that number. So the 49.2 minus 27.1 will give you the mass of the liquid. All right, now for the volume of the liquid, well, conveniently, the uh, little flask that I used has graduations on the side of it. And the top line right there is a, um, the top line right there is a, is the 25 milliliter line, all right? So I filled in exactly 25 milliliters of the oil. So my volume of the liquid is the 25 cubic centimeters, all right? So um, to calculate the density then, it's mass divided by volume. I'm gonna do the mass of the liquid, this number right here, divided by the volume of the liquid, that number right there, and then that's gonna give me the density of the liquid. So the mass divided by the volume gives me the density, and again, I want that rounded to the nearest hundredth, so rounded to um, two decimal places. All right, the uh, third um, liquid that we're gonna find the density of is something that you are probably not as familiar with. And that is a substance called witch hazel. All right. Witch hazel. All right. um, here's witch hazel. All right, here's witch hazel. Now, which, ha I put, which hazel isn't normally blue like that? I put some uh, food coloring in there so you can see it better. Um, it's normally clearish, but anyways, I put some food coloring in there. All right, um, so with the witch hazel, uh, mass of the empty container. So just like I did for uh, the salt water, I'm going to use a um, graduate cylinder for the mass of the empty container. So I put that on there, and I got the number, same number I got last time, and then I got uh, 41.9, right. uh, next, I'm going to pour some of the witch hazel in here, All right. so There's some of the witch hazel, all right, right there. And when I look at that, there's about 72 milliliters of witch hazel. So the 72 milliliters of witch hazel is what's gonna go down here in the volume of the liquid. And now I gotta find the mass of the container with the liquid. So I have the container with the witch hazel in it. I'm gonna put that on the graduate, on the uh, triple beam balance there. And I look on there, 105.2, 105.2 grams, all right? Um, so you have to calculate the mass of just the liquid. Here again, here's the empty container, here's the full container. You need to calculate the mass of the liquid. Here's the volume of the liquid. And the formula for density is mass divided by volume. So you're going to take the mass, divide it by the volume, and then calculate the density for that right there. And uh, again, you want to round that to the nearest uh, hundredth 
both two decimal places. Right. Now, um, before uh, we said the things with the density less than one will float in water, things with the density greater than one will sink in water. Uh, with liquids, um, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, things with lower densities go up, things with bigger densities go down. So what happens when I take two liquids with different densities and put them together is I end up with something that looks like that. So this would be the less dense liquid, this would be the more dense liquid. And even if I shake them up a little bit, um, if you let it sit a while, um, eventually it still ends up sorting out with the less dense stuff going on top and the more dense stuff going on the bottom. Right, so that is the density of the liquid lab. Um, you got questions on your uh, your paper there, so you want to do those, and that is pretty much it.